welcome dear students in this lecture we are going to see the point called as degradation of cellulose cellulose it is a natural biopolymer and it is generally found in the plant cell wall okay plant cell wall is made up of cellulose this is the structure of cellulose which is made up of glucose units okay this is made up of glucose units and this two glucose units are joined together by beta 14 glycosidic bond okay this is the first position and this is the fourth position okay so 1 2 3 4 so beta 14 glycosidic bond why beta why not alpha because the way glucose units are joined to each other you can see the the arrangement is like a flip okay so the way glucose subunits are joined every glucose monomer is flipped okay every glucose monomer is flipped relative to next one resulting in a linear fibrous structure just to give the flippy appearance the bond is beta 14 a glycosidic bond okay so this is the about cellulose joined by the glucose or consist of the glucose subunits joined by beta 14 glycosidic bond cellulose it is a as i told it is a polymer it is a polysaccharide found in the cell wall of plant plant cell wall is made up of cellulose it is a linear chain it doesn't consist of any type of branch it is a linear chain consisting of glucose subunit and that are joined together by beta 14 glycosidic bond it is abundantly found in the nature as in the form of the cell wall in plant okay in association with the lignine and hemicellulose now what are lignine and hemicellulose cellulose hemicellulose and lignine these are the biopolymers of plant cell wall okay these are the biopolymers of plant cell wall matlab ye teeno components these three components are present in the cell wall and together they are termed as lignocellulose okay instead of speaking individually cellulose hemicellulose lignine together the word is been given that is lignocellulose a major component it is a major component which contributes about 45% of the plant biomass okay and this cellulose it provides rigidity and support to the plant cell wall okay so it a function as a rigidity now what about hemicellulose and lignine hemicellulose uh, it is a cell wall of plant okay as i told together they are termed as the lignocellulose when you are saying the word lignocellulose it is not just a single word it is a combination of cellulose hemicellulose and lignine okay hemicellulose it contributes about 25 to 30% of the total wood dry weight kitna count karta hai 25 to 30% or cellulose 45% it is present along with the cellulose in almost all plant cell wall that is about the hemicellulose what about lignine lignine is also an important component of plant cell wall it is a group of complex organic polymers and it is held along with the cellulose hemicellulose and pectin now you know cellulose you know hemicellulose what is pectin pectin it is a heteropolysaccharide okay pectin it is a heteropolysaccharide to lignine kiske sath present hota hai along with the cellulose hemicellulose and pectin okay what is the function of this lignine definitely as it is the part of cell wall it will provide strength to the plant cell wall mechanical strength support to the plant cell wall now what are the organism which um, or examples of cellulitic cellulitic microorganism cellulose decomposes as we are seeing degradation of cellulose okay hum kya dekh rahe hain 
what is our point our point is degradation of cellulose so directly we can't start the degradation process first we must know what is cellulose where it is present okay and what are the microorganisms involved in the degradation process so there are different bacteria fungi and actinomycetes which play key role in the degradation of cellulose bacteria like bacillus cellulomonas cellulomonas clostridium cytophaga polyangium pseudomonas etc these are the bacteria which degrade the cellulose which break the cellulose into single glucose unit cellulose kya hai it is a long chain of linear it is a linear chain of glucose subunits linked by alpha sorry not alpha beta linked by beta 14 glycosidic bond so we want to break this cellulose we want to degrade this chain into the single glucose unit that is the degradation process that is a general idea behind the degradation fungi involved are aspergillus alternia foams fusarium myrothecium these are the fungi actinomyces like micromonaspora nocardia streptomyces streptospora and gm etc so these are different bacteria fungi and actinomyces involved in the degradation of cellulose what is the mechanism behind the cellulose degradation or decomposition or breakdown it is very simple mechanism just there is involvement of enzymes okay different enzymes play different role and they break the chain of cellulose into single glucose unit so enzymes which are involved they include c1 enzyme that is cellulose enzyme beta 14 glucanase and beta 14 glucosidase these are the three enzymes involved in the breakdown of cellulose okay so let's start with the steps of the degradation of cellulose so yes this is the long polysaccharide chain linked by beta 14 glucose unit flipping like arrangement is there okay so this is your cellulose which is made up of glucose subunits now we want to degrade this cellulose into a single glucose unit so these are intermediate steps and this is carried out by the different enzymes okay so yes this is we have this um, cellulose chain firstly we use the enzyme called as cellulose 1 or we can say a uh, c1 okay cellulose 1 or c1 enzyme what it does it hydrolyze the native cellulose polymer into small fragments okay into small fragments uh, they break down this chain now uh, see yahan par sirf 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven units ki chain dikhai hai but it is made up of many uh, glucose units okay cellulose are made up of many glucose units so first that thousand number of cellulose or thousand number of glucose unit chain is broken down into small fragment okay or we can say medium type fragment and this is carried out by the enzyme called as cellulose sorry cellulose okay c1 theek hai to wo yahan par mention nahi kiya gaya hai so you have to consider that we have a long chain of cellulose and that long chain is broken down into this fragment okay this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 fragment by the action of cellulose okay so that was your first step second you use the enzyme called as beta 14 glucanase beta 14 glucanase sabse pehle aapne use kiya cellulose enzyme that is c1 to break long chain of cellulose into into small or into medium size okay then you will use the enzyme beta 14 glucanase now there are two different types of this enzyme beta 14 glucanase endoglucanase and exoglucanase endo as the name indicate it randomly cut the fragments somewhere in the middle okay kahin bhi beech mein kahin bhi cut karegi there is not a fixed position to cut but ye middle mein hi cut karegi endo means at the middle okay and next is exoglucanase exo means it sequentially release 
फ्रॉम वन एंड ऑफ दी फ्रैगमेंट्स सिक्वेंशियली साइड से एक 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 ग्लूकोज यूनिट ये निकालता है वन और टू ओके सो दिस एक्सो इट क्लिप्स फ्रॉम दी साइड ऑफ द चेन एंड एंडो इट क्लिप्स रैंडमली इन द मिडल ऑफ द चेन ओके सो यर देर इज एक्टिविटी ऑफ एंडो बीटा वन फॉर ग्लूकेनिस मीन्स दिस एंजाइम हैज क्लिप्ड द चेन इन द मिडल समवेयर ओके सेपरेटिंग थ्री ग्लूकोज यूनिट This was your second step, action of endo beta one for glucanes. Third, now here we have obtained the two glucose unit, okay, and that is known as cello bios. <clears throat> so, I am calling it cello bios, okay. So, what will be your third step? There will be action of beta one for glucosidase, okay. There will be action of beta one for glucosidase. Now beta one for glucosidase, what it does? It hydrolyzes di tri oligosaccharide to form the single glucose unit. Okay. अब हमें यहाँ पर दो glucose unit मिले हैं. Okay. We have got here a di form, di saccharide form. So this enzyme, what it does? Beta glucosidase, it cleaves this di saccharide into single glucose unit, into free glucose molecule. And in the last step, in the fourth step, that is, there is metabolism of glucose. Metabolism of glucose means what? Uh, there is a working on that glucose by using different enzymes to use that glucose in the form of energy. So yes, we have free glucose. अब ये glucose क्या करेगा? it will enter into the microbial cell and metabolize by glycolysis there will be glycolysis pathway and that it will convert into the glucose will convert into the pyruvate okay so like that we can use uh, we can degrade the cellulose okay we can break the cellulose i hope it might be clear to you thank you